Okay, welcome to this tutorial. We're going to step through creating a vehicle from scratch, uh, applying textures and importing it into UDK and setting up the scripts and playing it. Okay, let's get started. So I'm just going to start with a box, like so. Whoops, there we go. Try again. Oh, lovely pink box. And I'm going to whip up some length and width segments. Just going to switch on the edge faces. So just going to tweak some width. That should be enough. And height segments, just a few. And I'm going to use this as the basis of my vehicle, like so. Alright, so I'm going to convert this to an editable poly, which can be done by right clicking. Go on, right click. Okay, it's not going to do it for me. I can go up here alternatively and right click here and go edit the poly. Okay, now I can start editing the guy. So here I'm going to basically start to manipulate vertices around like so. I'm using hotkeys of course. Uh, w for move, control shift for selecting multiple vertices, etc, etc. Uh, but basically this is going to be my vehicle. Cool. Alright, so I'm going to pop the roof. Alright, this is pretty sweet. And I'm just manipulating vertices around like so. And this hopefully will form my vehicle. Let's put this over like that. And let's grab these two vertices here on either side and do a connect operation. I guess it's not going to work because there's too many things in the way. So I'll just do a quick slice. And nah, I'll just do a cut instead. Cut should be working quite fine. And just take that across like so. And that's going to be the bonnet of my car. It's pretty sweet. And take this back a little way. Like so. And this will be my bumper. And let's bring this down a little way. Okay, and let's try to rear the car. So let's do another cut across the back, like so. And we're going to make this the rear of the car. It's definitely a very sweet car. I, I think so. So polygon. Um, whoops. Let's just select these top polygons. So now I'm in polygon mode, uh, which I've selected through my. Uh, modifier here, modifier panelist, and yeah, this looks pretty ordinary. Um, so I'm just going to move this around. So this is going to be a really, really, really basic car. Um, nothing really, really exciting, I, I think. So I'm just going to do another cut, cut on the side panels there. Okay, it looks pretty sweet. And yeah, that should be alright. Eh? So edge mode, just gonna do some edge, mod edge modification. I'm just gonna select these edges here. And scale them flat. And just some nice vertices that haven't quite been corrected. Let's see here, I got this edge I don't want. I can grab it. And I believe I can do what's called a collapse. Oh, am I thinking about May here? Oh, no, 3ds Max can do it too. All right, so let's make my boot a little bit cooler. Oops, Mr. Vertices. And I'm just gonna scale that a little way. And that's totally sweet. Okay, you can also see another edge here that I can collapse also. Alright. Oh, yeah, that's uh, kind of cool. I'm just going to grab some more polygons here, here, and here, here. And I'm just going to do a bit of a scale out. Okay, I need to change my scale options to this one, which centers the scale uniformly. uniformly. And sweet. Alright. 
Uh, I think it's uh, a bit too curvy at the front here. A bit more of a boxy shape. And I might just grab these ones here. Do the edge mode this time. And let's bring it back and scale that out a little ways. Alright, so that's a pretty sweet looking car, kind of. Um, so, incredibly important uh, what it is going to be at the moment, but this should be pretty nice for what I want to do. And what I'm going to do is create some wheels. Now, actually, actually, my car is facing the wrong direction, it's in the negative x axis. Uh, if you want to check what axis it is in, uh, you can look down here and you can see that my car is facing this direction. So for UDK setup, we want it facing the other direction. So I can rotate it like so, or I can just plug in a value uh, down here and the z-axis to rotate it around completely. There we go. Let's put it in that direction. I'm going to just sort of move it back a little way and up a little way. Because I'm going to start doing the wheels now. All right, that's a pretty damn sweet car. Okay, so <clears throat> let's make some wheels. So I'm going to flick to my uh, left view. Oh, sorry, my. F okay, it's not quite lined up nicely. Um, we want the car to be lined up on the grid here, so I'm just going to switch on my grid snap or snap here. And by default, it should be on grid points, like so. So it should enable me to snap it nice and uh, center on the grid. I'll just check it in perspective to see if it's still all right. Okay, just switch off my snap tool, pull it back a little way, and that should do right for now. Okay. So front view, you hit F on the keyboard. You can also select your different views by selecting off graphic top, bottom, front, back, left, right, it's all here. Also the shortcut keys you can see here for all the views. Um, yep, so we'll just work in this view. So I'm going to create a wheel now. So go back to our creation panel, which is the first panel here. And I'm going to create a cylinder. And this is going to be our cool wheel. Okay, see I've alt middle mouse buttoned out into an orthographic projection of the camera, but I'm going to go back to perspective mode, which will show us the wheel. Let's go to our um, modifier panel, which is the second panel, and look at our cylinder. Now the radius is, or the radius of the wheel, um, I've checked this out, and essentially, uh, the Scorpion vehicle on UDK uh, has a wheel radius of around 20 to 25. So I'm going to set this up for 22. I'm going to use this as the basis of my scale. Uh, obviously my vehicle behind here is not the correct scale. I'll come back to my front view. I'm just going to prep this wheel uh, sitting on top of the uh, grid here. Uh, like so. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to scale my car. Uh -huh. Get a perspective. Let's pull the wheel out a bit more. And my car is way too big for that wheel. So I'm going to scale it down again. And you know, you just I'm basically just working off scale here to get the look and feel I want. Uh, like so. I think that's kind of cool. And it should do quite nicely. So there's my wheel. I'm going to put this radius at a fixed 22. Okay. And the height, uh, probably just make 15 for a nice big fat tire. Alright, so I'm just going to drop the height segments off because uh, this will be my low poly model. Actually, I'll just uh, leave it like so at the moment. And there you go, one wheel. Should be quite nice. So, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to carve out a wheel uh, arch in the car. And I'm going to do that pretty much like doing this. I'm going to shift drag out a copy, um, like so. I'm going to scale it so it's a bit deeper. And then I'm going to move it into the body, certain distance. 